Hey, it's me, Coach T, checking in real quick, and I do mean real quick. I just want to come in and say, first of all, hello, and welcome to another show, another episode, rather, of Take 5 with Tara. And it is going to be really short and sweet. I have missed you. Yes, I have. But I am here for a quick check-in and a quick check-up to say it's exciting, yet it's scary. So just ease into it. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the world opening up, all the mandates being lifted, everything being different and changed and quote unquote trying to go back to normal. But guess what? It is not <laughs> that easy when it's not that normal to return to normal. When you've been in a, in a place, a space, in a position for over a year. So the same anxiety we had going into this is the same anxiety you may experience going out of it. So with that being said, don't rush it. We had to learn to adapt to not being able to hug people, talk to people, or you know, be around them, see them, touch them, go places. I mean, the world was literally shut down for weeks on end, except for grocery stores and certain places like that. So we had to eventually ease our way back into getting out into the world. Then it was we had to wear a mask and all that stuff. I still wear my mask regardless of what um, mandates are being lifted for the government, the CDC, workplace, whatever the case may be, being vaccinated or not. I think my mask, until I'm totally comfortable with not wearing it, I'm going to wear it. So now we face this, what, this thing of, not wearing the mask, wearing the mask. So since they lifted the, uh, <laughs> since they have lifted the mandates, people with masks get the crazy looks. But I'm like, whatever. Uh, first of all, you don't know who is not vaccinated, uh, and whatever your theory or thoughts may be about vaccinations, that's neither here nor there. But the point is, it's saying if you're fully vaccinated, don't wear a mask. But who knows who's vaccinated, and who's not? So um, anyway. And it's just so many other things that play into why you should or should not, or why you prefer or prefer not to wear your mask. Anyway, this is not about that. This is about easing your way into it. Because it is exciting to see things opening up and people maybe business businesses um businesses going, you know, coming back. Some didn't survive at all, but you know, some some are, are coming back around, rebounding and thriving. But you know, so that's exciting, but at the same time. I ain't ready to be just running around in crowds. I mean, I would love, I have been yearning to go to a concert. But first of all, the price gouging is ridiculous. <laughs> Second of all, um, I don't know if I'm really ready to be in a crowd of like hundreds and hundreds of people. You know, um, I've, I've been in small crowds of people that I feel safe around because I, for the most part, know what they are or are not doing on a regular basis. But at the same time, child, please. You know, it's about safety. Then it's about my my seventy eight year old grandmother who I wanted to be able to go see freely and not be concerned and worried about anything. So it's just a lot of other factors that play into it. But my whole point of this quick video is to ease your way back into it. Don't feel pressured to run rush or run into. I mean, I love the idea that I can get to my friends and maybe we can go eat brunch or something like that. But it's still a select few people that I'm going to be okay with doing that with. Um, just until, you know, I feel more comfortable and that is okay. Like the whole point is for you to feel more comfortable, not the next person, not the other person, not the family member, not the babe, boo, husband, wife, or whatever. It is about you and your comfortable level and your peace of mind because anxiety and stress are real and they are the number one factors to break down our immune system and our bodies and our mental health and well-being. A lot of those things are um, that when they break down or, you know, quote unquote malfunction or whatever, it's a derivative of stress and anxiety, sleepless nights and all that different things. So, you know, you just have to do what works for you and don't let people pressure you into doing anything you don't want to do. Ease your way back into it. Don't feel guilty because you don't want to go and turn up and pop up and show up. You know, just ease your way back into what you do. I mean... The, the stuff is still out there. It's real. But the bottom line is the same way we had to adjust and ease our way into not being able to go see people and talk to them. We talk to them, but, you know, see and hang out and touch 
from family to friends, all that. The same way we had to ease our way into it, we have to ease our way out of it. I mean, we were kind of thrown into it. <laughs> and it seemed like we were being thrown right out of it. But you have to do what's best for you, do what works for you. And whatever brings you peace and solace. And that's the most important part. That is the greatest thing that I can say today. Whatever brings you peace, no matter who's offended, not that you're even trying to offend anyone, but no matter who's offended, no matter who's bothered by it, no matter who feels some kind of way or getting their feelings, it's all about you and your peace and your solace and your comfort. So, you know, do you. As long as you are happy with it, do you. I'm not saying be rude and be going off on people and I ain't being around you. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is do what makes you happy. Do what makes you have peace and do what makes you feel calm on a regular. So, like me, I'm selective of who I'm with. I'm still going to wear my mask and I wear my cute lipstick when I come home. <laughs> And do videos or whatever. But otherwise, I'm going to do what makes me feel safe. What makes me have peace. And what's not going to have me wondering, oh, what if, what if, oh my God, maybe so, no. So, we've, we've been through that already. So, let's keep that at a minimum. Where we're not overly stressed out about, you know, what ifs. I mean, the world is full of that. But, you know, we have to return to what we know works, which is prayer um meditation you know support talking to the people who are like-minded and those who are on the same wavelength and we just continue to um walk in that space that's safe for us no judgment to other people i mean i ain't saying that you gotta you know be kicking it with them but you know we ain't got to agree with what they're doing but you just let them live their best life while you live yours okay so that's all i had to say good to see you thanks for checking in Thanks for stopping by. It's me, Coach T. Remember that you can always, always shift your life from mundane to magnificent, especially when you maximize the moments. Have a good night. Bye.